Good morning everyone. Today I'm at Birchwall Farm in Wrentham, Massachusetts. I'm doing Wildflower 101 episode 13. I'm heading out to the high tension wires to show you guys the beautiful wild indigo. Here is the beautiful wild indigo. Nicknames are yellow wild indigo, small yellow wild indigo, yellow false indigo, horsefly weed, yellow broom, and rattleweed. It is in the pea family, which is the legume family. It's a bushy, long-lived perennial, and it is herbaceous. The flower is irregular. It is a pea-like flower that have wing-like petals. The color is yellow, pale to bright. They are a half inch long. Flowers grow on the top of the tallest branches. It blooms in the summer from June through August. Hopefully this is coming through clear. It's a good look at the flower. Leaves. There are three clover-like leaflets. They are one-third to a half inch long wedge shape, widening to rounded blunt tips. They are slightly notched with smooth margins. The color is gray-green on the upper side and on the underside they are more pale. They are compound leaves that are alternate, divided, and entired. The stems are smooth and bushy. They are erect with slender branches that are alternate. They grow two to four feet high. This is a really big one. The roots are a thick knotty head with scars. They are a fleshy root and the type of root is a tap root. The seeds are a small inflated seed pod that are about three quarters of an inch. They are green at first and when they mature they turn black. They contain a brown kidney shaped seeds which are loose in the pods. When shaken they sound like a rattle hence the name rattleweed. There is the inside of the green seed pod so they're not at the point where they're rattling yet because they're not mature but they're very small. Wild indigo's habitat are gardens, meadows, fields, woodland edges, open spaces, pine and oak barren. They like soil dry to medium that's well drained. They prefer full sun to partial shade. Pollinators are native bees, bumblebees, some moths and butterflies, hummingbirds, and they are a host to some caterpillars. Wild indigo is native to New England. I hope you have a chance to get out and enjoy this lovely little flower from June through August. I will have everything written in the about section along with the glossary of the different terms I used. Peace, love, and joy. Always be humble. Always be kind. See you next time.